let's bring in professor of infectious diseases at Vanderbilt University at Medical Center, Dr. William Schaffner. Doctor, thanks so much for joining me on this Monday morning. How worried are you that the bird flu could mutate into something that humans are much more susceptible to? Well, good morning, Marky. We are concerned about that, but be aware that this bird flu strain has been around the world for about 10 years, and it has not yet develop the genetic capacity to spread readily from person to person. So that would be required for it to be hazardous to humans. An occasional rare human case, such as that dairy worker, mm -hmm. sure, that could happen. But the general public, I think at the moment, need not be concerned. But we in public health are keeping a very close watch on this, actually around the globe every single day. Dr. Shafter, I also wanted your take on this headline that was running in the New York Post. It, it reads this, bird flu pandemic could be a hundred times worse than COVID, scientists warn. Your thoughts on, on that and, and could that be true, doctor? Well, I suppose it could be true. You know, if we have a pandemic and it happens with influenza about every 10 or 15 years, then a lot of people do get sick. But mind you, there's nothing in the immediate future that looks like that. Uh, I don't like those scary headlines. Yeah, yeah. And we don't want to be alarmist either, but it's out there. And I just wanted to pick your brain on that. You brought up that Texas patient, doctor. Uh, it sounded just by reading about his symptoms, mild eye symptoms, upper respiratory symptoms. And then he was okay after taking Tamiflu. So does that give you hope that if this did become widespread, it would be manageable on a large scale? Yeah, well, two things. One, as you say, our antiviral drugs, such as Tamiflu, are going to be effective against this bird flu, should it strike us. And then the other thing, of course, is that we have already manufactured a vaccine. It's on the shelf. So in the event we have a larger problem, we can take it off the shelf, give it to the manufacturers, and we'll have a head start on having a vaccine ready for all the rest of us. Okay, awesome, good to know there are options out there. Dr. William Schaffner, thank you so much for your time this morning. Uh, we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.